I think maybe I got it. All right, let's figure this out. Uh, I'm trying to get it on my cell phone right now. So then I can walk around and do stuff at the same time that I live stream. Um, let's see. All right. <clears throat> Just trying to get this camera cell phone in place. Wow, sorry. I'm making me throw up right now. It's not on purpose. All right. Cool. Well, hello. I'm live streaming this morning. Um, yeah, just hanging out. I'm going to check on some experiments and stuff I've been doing. And, you know, stuff. Let me turn the camera around. This is the Odin. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. This is where I work. It's in my desk. It's right in the sun, which I don't know if that's good or bad. It's kind of annoying. All the plants. Thank you, Melissa Runfeld, for all these. Ooh, they're growing beautifully. There's a mural we got. What? It's done by uh, Phoebe. You can check her out on Instagram. Some sculpture. Lyra's working on. I don't know what it is. I've kind of set up my workspace over here for right now because uh, David always takes over this workspace as the one I use. <laughs> but um, what I've been doing, I've been trying to genetically modify some bacteria. Um, these are the bacteria we use to grow um, these bacterial cellulose. It's actually on this sculpture. If you see like this stuff, they look really close. It's not like plastic or anything. That's like bacterial cellulose grown. We grow it in these uh, big containers or small containers. There's probably some in here. I'm not going to touch it or poke it because Tessa will get mad. Let's see. Do we have like a popsicle stick or something? We can poke it with this. Let's see. You kind of see it in there, right? Ew. Yeah. It kind of forms this clear layer of biofilm. And uh, then when you take it and dry it out, it turns into something like this. And it's cool because there's this bacteria that does that. And so what I've been trying to do, we isolated the bacteria and we, you know, sequenced it to identify it. Now I want to genetically modify it. Um, so I've been growing it up and messing around. I actually have a liquid culture also over here. Let me see how it's doing. Uh, I stirred this last night. I think my culture of these seem to grow kind of weird. Yeah. I probably should have shaken it more. You can see, let's see, focus, focus. I don't know if I can get this to focus. There we go. You can see how there's like a film, forms that biofilm layer. And it doesn't seem like there's so much in terms of like bacteria growing in the solution. I don't know. You have to grow it at a different temperature. Yeah. You can see all that globby, gloopy stuff. It's pretty weird. Um. 
Here's my plate. So what I did was I plated some of that bacteria. Here's the control plate. You can see. Completely covered. It's pretty cool the way it grows. It almost looks like skin. You know? Let's touch it. I want to touch it. Do you want to see it touched? Ooh, yeah, it just kind of like peels up. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Um, it was weird because there wasn't much scientific literature on this stuff, and so I didn't know if it would be resistant to any antibiotics or anything. So I grew it on streptomycin, no growth, chloramphenicol, no growth, ampicillin, no growth. Canamycin. No growth. Um, yeah, so it looks like it doesn't have any natural antibiotic resistance. People don't know that, but like most bacteria that exist um, have natural antibiotic resistance. And so... Um, you can't just like, so when you genetically modify bacteria, generally what you're doing is you're putting in DNA and you're selecting for certain traits. Um, and these are usually antibiotic resistance genes, right? Because antibiotics make it really easy um, because you can just, uh, all the bacteria that don't have the DNA that you genetically modified um, the organism with, uh, they die, <laughs> which is great. Um, and all the ones that do, they live. So you just grow them in media that has antibiotics. And it's easy to tell, you know, which ones are genetically modified and which ones aren't, just based on which ones live. Because the lived ones will have also have a genetic, uh, an antibiotic resistance cassette or piece of DNA in them. Um, but yeah, a lot of bacteria are naturally just antibiotic resistant. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with use of antibiotics or anything like that. Uh, they just don't get, the, the antibiotics don't target them correctly. And so if you found a new bacteria and you want to genetically modify it, you need to test and see if it's resistant to antibiotics. That's the first thing. I remember a while ago, um, <clears throat> We were trying to genetically modify lactobacillus, which is the bacteria that can be used to make yogurt. And it was resistant to like every antibiotic. <laughs> um, maybe it was just a strain we had at the time. But uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of annoying because it was just like, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, Unfortunately, I can't see the chat right now. Let me see if there's a way I can fix that. So then I can actually see, talk to people. See what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. 